University of Baltimore, it was, it was funded by entrepreneurs, so it's very appropriate we have an entrepreneurship competition every year here. And we, we're, we're very career focused, that's what we, you, you, you come to the Merrick School to become something, you know, become a, an accountant, uh, become a marketing professional, insurance professional. Some of you are going to say, you come to become an entrepreneur, and, and, and some students actually do ask me, is, is entrepreneurship a real career and, and I think as you'll see in, in a few minutes, you know, some of our most prominent alumni, they, they made careers as entrepreneurs. And uh, so I think it is a career, but it's also very important for a business school because you know, at the heart of any business, at some time there was some creative spark, right? And so just learning and practicing that is, is very important. So you know, we had, I think right hand we had over 70 applicants for this. We, we got this down to six. Many sport and recreational anglers are faced with the problem of finding high quality fishing gloves that can protect from fish, knives, casting, baiting, rigging, and that's durable in any weather condition. As you can see from my demonstrators here, AMJ have solved this problem by providing durable high performance fishing gloves while maximizing their fishing experience, their casting distance, their fish grip, and their overall hand safety. In the near future, we look to finalize our beta testing with our final product. We look to finalize the IP for our uh, glove as well, acquire manufacturing, and build our e-commerce website. The problem is a lot of people face are taking their bike to get a simple oil change, these services. It takes days and or weeks just to get an appointment set up with these dealerships. The way I plan on solving this problem is a Jiffy Lube type method of a fast paced turnaround for motorcycle services, for oil changes. Another aspect that I did not put on here is a web-based subscription service, kind of like a Targate, which a lot of you guys know about. Doing how-to videos of how, you can, how I can show people how to maintain and work on their bike safely, effectively, and also there will be a forum concept on the website so people can talk to one another. So that way, if people cannot potentially bring their bike to me for whatever reason, I can still help them be safe on the road and still collect revenue. Essentially, Bloombox is a subscription model company that will send you the tools and equipment needed to plant and grow sprouts within the comfort of your own living facility. Most people know sprouts as Brussels sprouts, but sprouts can also be garlic sprouts as well as onion sprouts. So the market for home gardening industry there's about a $2 billion market nationwide, 40 million statewide. But our target market isn't necessarily in this market because the people we are targeting are people aged 20 to 30 in apartments, as well as people over the age of 65 in retirement facilities. We believe that the destination is just as important as the journey. Because at Bloombox, we have one goal, and that is to make the world bloom one box at a time. Imagine you purchased a $25,000 vehicle and your first road trip, it breaks down. It's 10 o'clock Saturday night. You cannot get a hold of the dealership. So our solution, a mobile RV repair service. We come to you and we can fix everything from A to W, we like to say. Our biggest selling point is that we'll get to you quickly and we'll charge you fair prices. I'd like to tell you about the time that I got married. Um, this was in 2005 and at that time I was 31 years old and even though I'd spent most of my life to this point in the fashion industry, I thought I'm planning a wedding from Illinois, getting married in Minneapolis. I can't sew my own gown. So I went through the whole process of wanting to go and say yes to the dress. And it was a disaster. And I realized at that point that it was a problem for me. It was probably a problem for other brides. So what Karima McClendon Baltimore aims to do is to fill this gap 
in the retail stores of supplying gowns that are um, sophisticated but not matronly and we would make the gowns here in the United States, namely here in Baltimore, and using silks and embroidery and provide a gown at a reasonable price. What La Casa Boutique can offer our clients, we give them priority service. There are no long waits because we don't double book. We provide quick, convenient, quality service by skilled service providers. At La Cata Boutique, you will receive our services throughout the metropolitan area. That is DC, Maryland, and Virginia, including here in Baltimore. Traditional competitors, where you're gonna get your hair done or your nails done, but you're not getting both. At La Cata Boutique, you're able to get a full beautification from head to toe giving you a one-stop shop. I stumbled upon Stone almost completely randomly. I'd gone out to get AirPods and they were sold out. And rather than wait, I decided to try all of the best down to some of the worst in-ear headphones. So I decided to call my friend Zach, an avid musician, audiophile, and entrepreneur for some recommendations. Stone is a company that Zach started a few years ago to focus on one thing, sound. As soon as I had tried the product out, I fell in love. They were sleek, sounded great, and extremely comfortable. That said, there was one major issue. Stone needs updating. Zach mentioned I should relaunch the company as CEO. Our mission is pretty simple. We want people to have great experiences, whether it's your podcast, audiobook, or music, through audiophile grade sound. First up is crowd favorite goes to Bloombox. <laughs> Idea stage business goes to AMJ Fishing Gloves. <laughs> and the winner for the existing business category is Karima McClendon. <laughs> For most promising business, Stone. Yeah.